Hello, friends. I'm Summer. Welcome to Power Life Live. This is Power Bar Express. So you need 45 minutes, um, one dumbbell. I would recommend, I mean, you could have more than one if you want, or only use one at a time. I would definitely recommend having a dumbbell that's maybe less than five pounds. Just saying. Know that you could always drop it if you do have a heavier one. Also, you need a bar just for balance. So back of a chair, back of a sofa, countertop, whatever you have is great. Pull your mat up to it like this. And come on to your mat, please. Child's pose. Send your tush towards your bar. Quick play on your playlist for you, cozy. In child's pose, bring your big toes to touch. Send your knees out wide. Melt your hips towards your heels. And from here, my friends, please lift your palms up for a little bit of receiving. We want you to think about how receptive you are in areas of your life. For example, when somebody pays you a compliment, do you accept it graciously or do you dismiss it? If someone does something nice for you, are you, again, gracious and receiving or are you immediately like an obligation reciprocating mode? So you want you to check in and be aware. And notice that as yogis, we tend to want to be givers, right? We're giving. We know how great it feels to give, but I'm here to tell you they are not the opposite. Giving and receiving are very much related. We'll talk about that a little more in class. We're gonna take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, tabletop, please. Breathe here. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Pull your lower back up so that your back is truly flat. Hug your navel towards your spine. Find some cats and cows from here. Maintain this engagement. Come in and cat pose first. Round your back towards the ceiling. Continue like to pull up through your belly. Bring your eyes towards your thighs. Exhale. Inhale through cow. Breathe here. Lower your belly towards your neck. Shine your chest forward. Bring your gaze forward as well. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. You can take up your here with your own breath. Mostly we're just looking for articulation through our spine. This is the training nuts. Don't mind me. Don't get dizzy or anything. I'm just adjusting things. Adjusting things. Just like in class, when we need to adjust things, we do. Few more. On your next tabletop inhale, come to a neutral spine. From here, walk your hands slightly forward, maybe your feet back high plank. Set your shoulders over your wrists, pull your heels up over your toes, hug your belly up and in. Slow swing shots with a clamshell. Send your hips back towards your heels, open your knees, close them, slingshot forward. Back, open, close, slingshot forward, and back, open, Close, slingshot forward and back. Open, close, forward, back, keep going. <clears throat> so with these slingshots, we see high plank, we think immediately shoulders, core, and yes, we're creating some ability through our shoulders. And as you clamshell, as you open your knees, you should feel, and close them, a lot of like lower abdominal sensation. However, we are here for your quads. So if you're feeling some quad love, know that this is a good chunk of your workout right here already in table, or excuse me, in high plank. Um, in your clamshells, you guys, squeeze your side booty, your abductors, to open your knees. So externally rotate your knees to the side, point your inner thighs down. As you close, hug everything up and in, then hinge forward. You've got a few more here. Like five. Last three, two, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees up forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, breathe here. Press your hands into your shins, maybe your thighs. Either way, length is the goal. So reach through your crown of your head, reach through your tailbone, flatten your belly, get along through your spine. Take a big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, find fifth position arms. So imagine for a moment that you've got a beach ball on your head. Hold it around your elbows, face your palms towards your head. Take a big breath in. Exhale, mini back bend, second position arms. So reach from your fingertips out from your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose, fifth position arms. Listen. Exhale, first position arms. Slowly lower your hands just beneath your chest. Maintain the roundness in your elbows. Take a big breath out. Inhale, position. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Back to slow slingshots. This time we had an arabesque push-up. 
Slingshot your hips back. Forward with your right glute. Push up. Slingshot back. Forward with your left. Arabesque push up. Slingshot back. Forward right. Back. Forward and left. Push up. Glide it back. Squeeze your tush. Push up. Glide it back. Squeeze your other tush. Push up. Keep going. On your arabesque push ups. Again, externally rotate your knee to the side. I'm going to take this into your head today. It's going to be super annoying. So do it. How open are you to receiving the same message over and over? Be amazed at how often we dismiss signs, the same sort of instruction repeatedly. And what is this adversity, right? Break it down. Is it uncomfortable? Is it just kind of weird? Can you be open to it? Externally rotate your knee out so your inner thigh points down. Squeeze your glute to raise your leg. Point or flex your toe, it doesn't matter. A pinch to your butt cheek. With this external rotation, you get a hit like the upper shelf of your backside. So we are here, friends, for the aesthetic. This is how your backside looks. It's lift. It's shape. Also, there's some push-ups here. You get the slingshot. You get a mini break from the push-up. But can you be open and staying on your toes because you get that mini break? Look, gang, if you want to drop to your knees for the push-up, do it. You can totally arabesque and push up from here. You still get all the benefits, but maybe it allows you to stay a little longer so you can create sensation in your chest and your triceps. Five seconds, please. Last three. Two, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees and forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, fifth position arms. Exhale, mini back bend, second position arms. Inhale, fit. Exhale, first position arms. Inhale, fit. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high plank. This time, fast leg shots within the elbow. Send your hips back, squeeze your knee forward. Hips back, other knee. Hips back, right knee. Hips back, left knee to elbow. Right knee to elbow. Left knee to elbow. This one's for cardio. Get your speed up. And again, just like your clamshells and your arabesque. Externally rotate your knee to the side. Point your inner thigh down. We are keeping this turn out all through class. We're coming back to all this weirdness. This one's for speed. Get it going. Squeeze your obliques. We're cramming all of our oblique love today, friends, into some sneaky core moments. This is one of them. Keep on going. Five seconds. Whew. Last four. Three. Two. Inhale. High plank. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high, please, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your dumbbell in your left hand. Pull it through heart center. Open up, second position, right side body on your bar. From here, plie with a sidearm hold. Launch up, attitude. Plie, attitude to the front. Plie, attitude. Plie, attitude in your attitude. Guess what? Externally rotate your knee to the side. Point your inner thigh forward or up in this case. Maintain a big bend in your knee. You just strengthen your belly to hug it up. Crunch it up. Four more, please. Last three. Two. Hold your attitude. Come into passe. Passe. Bring your toe to meet your calf. Again, externally rotate your knee. Think tree pose. We're not planning here. Just a slight touch. Bring your arm to first position. Passe first position arm into arabesque fifth position arm. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, reach it out. First through your arm, fifth. First, fifth. Passe, arabesque. Again, in arabesque. Send your knee to the side. Point it that way, keep it there. Squeeze through your glute to press your leg back. Now with this posture, you guys, I mean, holy smokes, your shoulders don't need a ton of resistance. So if your dumbbell feels real heavy, that's legit. Maybe you drop it. You can always grab it again for when we add on. You can always just squeeze what your mama gave you. But the more important thing is your form. The first thing that goes is your form. So if you don't have a pretty ballerina first arm to fit, drop that sucker. Be open to the idea that maybe you don't need the props. Maybe you drop your prop and your ego at the same spot. 
And then just feel the sensations. Be in your own body. But when I say in your own body, friends, I will force you to be in your own body because we're doing weird combos today. Yes. So we're not here just to like strengthen physically, we're here to sharpen mentally as well. This is your me time. Be here. Five more. We add on the three, two, hold your next arabesque at a fondue overhead tricep extension. Slight sink, reach. Pull it in, reach. Sink, reach. Passe, arabesque, fondue, arabesque, passe. Arabesque, fondue, arabesque, pull it in, reach, sink, reach, reset, reach, sink, reach, reset, arabesque, fondue, arabesque, passe. I'm staying with you for a moment because I know it's weird. I know it's weird. It's a three part combo. So we built onto this. Your base posture is passe. You've been here, you've been here. Okay, you've been rotating your knee out to the side. I've been telling you over and over. So again, externally rotate your knee to the side. Point your thigh forward. From passe, reach. Bring your arm from first position to fifth overhead. Squeeze your glute. You've already been in all these things. From there, you guys, just sink. It's a demi-plie to your right leg, your standing leg. So no need to go for a lot of depth here. It's like a intentional bend, not your deepest font. Mostly because you're upright. So in your fondue, friends, it may look just like this. Fondue, overhead tricep extension, reach up. Pull it in, reach, sink, reach, pull it in. In fact, lift your toes up off your mat. You can take through your heel and avoid rolling into them and pressing your knee in front of your ankle. That's no play, no. So stay as upright as you can. Resist the urge to come into like warrior three years. You are still upright. So even in your arabesque, because you are upright, instead of in warrior three, I taught this class, I know what you're gonna do. Because you are upright, your leg may not come as high. That's okay, you are here for the glute engagement right here. It doesn't matter how high your leg is, yet. Now just imagine for a moment, if we had started a class like this, no, it said we built onto it, it's a whole lot of crazy, but you get three different postures in a bar we're like notorious for holding you into one thing forever across several variations, you get three postures. So if there's one of these that you hate, you get two more before you have to come back to it. But because of the repetition, oh, and we'll get there, you get all the feels in each of them. Five more, hold your fondue in three, two, hold your fondue, sink it low, bring your dumbbell behind your hip. Now get low on your fondue because you can hinge forward. Touch your toe, your dumbbell towards the ground. Leg lift with a narrow door tricep kick back. Punch it down, pull it up, kick back. Lower, pull, kick back. Lower, pull, kick back. Lower, pull, kick back. Lower, pull, kick back. Touch, pull, kick back. Touch. Pull, kick it back. Pull, kick it back. Pull, kick it back. Squeeze your glutes. Lift your leg. So you get a little bit of narrow row action. You need to pull with your shoulder blade, pull your elbow above your rib cage, and then kick back. So press through your palm and your foot. So even though I'm saying pull then kick back, it's not just for your arm. Pull your leg up and then kick back through your toe, find the leg. So not only are you squeezing your glute, but you get a leg through your hamstring as well, your calves, flex your toes or point them even better. Now get lower in your fondue, just cause you can. You can hinge lower here, friends. Lift your right toes up off your mat. Dig through your heel. Feel your glute light up. Yeah. Eight seconds of this nonsense. Then we're back to our full combos. Oh, and four. Last three. Two, hold your fondue. Okay, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Fondue, arabesque, passe, arabesque. Fondue, slight, arabesque, passe, arabesque, slight fondue, arabesque, passe, arabesque, sink, reach, pull it in, and reach, sink, reach, passe, arabesque, fondue, arabesque, passe, arabesque, you're almost there, stay in this, stay in this. I know it's confusing, I know it's weird. You've already been here. You've already been here. The repetition is what we're after now, friends. The majority of our class is like, okay, our whole class is like a couple of variations of combos and then we're freaking done. 
I mean, so it takes a minute to layer on and build to this. So if you're like, there's an element of patting my head, rub my belly, uh, ding, 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 you got it. Why are you running? You got this. And in fact, be here, because the second you start to lose this, you let your mind wander. It's a great call out. It's a great, like, kind of keeping you honest option. Be open to the weirdness. If you are open to this weirdness, and not only open to it, but you can lean into it, you get the benefits of your practice. The benefits do not come for free, friends. You want to see the change, but you have to, like, put in the work and feel the change first. That's how that works. How we do it. Ready to move. I bet you are. Last four. Three, two, come back to passe. Bring your dumbbell to heart center. Tome to the side into a fire hydrant. Tome, sink into the side, explode up, fire hydrant. Tome, fire hydrant. Sink, and then lift your knee to the side. Sink, lift. Remember I told you sneaky oblique work? This is one of them. This is one of them. Tome to fall. So I want you to fall into like a side lunge and then explode up. Explode up. Squeeze your abductor and your oblique to lift your knee to the side. Lift your knee to the side. There's a theme here, friends. In this time, you fall, but it's more about how you kick up out of it. Explode up out of your outside leg. Just like life, we all fall. And it's how you get up out of it. And not just get up out of it, explode up out of it. So continue to drive all of your body weight into your front leg, your outside leg, your left leg. Spoiler alert. Your right's getting a break. We've been standing and utilizing and destroying your right glute the entire time you've been in passe. Now you get a break. It's a slide of hands. It's also strength cardio. This cannot be lightning fast because you're shoving your weight down. It's a lot of body weight. It's your biggest muscles. It's a lot of up and down, hence the cardio. But there's no flailing, friends. There's no flailing. You can't just like mindlessly go through this. Sink down, explode up. Sink down, explode up. Better. Four seconds. Last three, two, pull it back in, passe. Bring your dumbbell in front of your hip. Front attitude, the bicep curl, passe. Attitude in curl, passe. Attitude in curl, reset, lift. Pull it in and lift. Pull it in and lift. Micro bend your standing leg, just for protection. As you come into attitude, again, externally rotate your knee to the side. Point your inner thigh forward and up. Use the strength of your lower belly to crunch your leg up. So no need to lean back to get your leg higher. That's super weird. Crunch into it. You got it, friends. And perhaps you've guessed. We're layering. We're going to build into something crazy. Another combo. This one is more for your quads. I mean, you're still going to get a ton of glute love. But more for your quads. And now we're in your back and your biceps. Your pull muscles. Stronger muscles. You can hold on your dumbbell for this one, thank God. Right? We don't have to, like, struggle with our ego on that. It's that fine line between, am I really pushing myself or am I going to die? It's all about balance, friends. And we talk about reception here. Can you be open to the weirdness coming? Can you, like, lean into this knowing that you don't feel super successful? And when you don't feel super successful, friends, that's the same feeling as growth. That's what growth feels like. When you're not cozy, when you're confused, when you don't know what to expect. So why are you running? Why are you trying to get out of this? Why are you getting frustrated? Why are you rolling your eyes at me? Stop, we're here to grow together. Uh-huh, we're gonna add it on. You're ready, four more. Last three, two, passe, and two from here, tombe forward with a back fly. And two in curl, reset. Attitude and curl, forward and fly. Pull it up, reset, lift, fall and fly, lift, reset, lift, fall and fly, lift, reset. Attitude, tome, attitude, passe, attitude, tome, attitude, passe. Lift, sink, lift, reset, curl, fly, curl, reset. As you tome forward, Explode up on your front leg and then look it right back into your attitude. I know it's weird. I know it's weird. Again, it is not about how you fall forward. It's how you push back up, literally and metaphorically, okay? So as you hinge forward in a tombe, keep your inside leg on the ground. Hinge forward, catch yourself, hinge forward, fly, the strength of your back, then kick up out, attitude with your bicep curl. Kick up out, attitude with your bicep curl. Okay, pause it. Bring it back in. 
So attitude is now your vehicle between these postures. It's your midway point, just, just like arabesque was before. As you fall forward, keep your inside leg down. I can't tell you how many students I've seen like fall forward and I kick this leg for, I don't know why, I don't know why, and then you're kicking something. Keep your right foot down. You just get a mini break from it. You're gonna shift your body weight into your front left foot. Yay. It's a weird combo. Sure is. Passe is your reset. Attitude, lift and curl, tall man fly. Lift and curl, passe reset. Lift and curl, tall man fly. Lift and curl, passe reset. You've got it. On your next tall man, hold it low, alternate your flies and curls. So you fly it up, bicep curl, back fly, bicep curl. Back fly, get heavy through your front heel. Keep your right foot planted down right where it is. Now lift your toes up off your mat. Bicep curl, back fly. Squeeze your bicep, squeeze your shoulder blade up and then in towards your spine. Hinge forward a lot, four more. Last three, back to our combos. Two, tome, back fly, attitude and curl, passe reset. Lift, fly, lift, reset. Here we go. Pull it up, sink it. Pull it up, reset. Pull it up, sink it. Pull it up, reset. Keep going. You've been in this combo. You've been in this combo. Passe is your reset. You passe. Attitude with your bicep curl. Tome with your fly. Attitude and curl. Reset. I know, it's so simple. I screw this up every time I teach it, especially because I start it and then I like frolic around for a while and I come back and I'm like, wait, what the, what the? So I do it too, you guys. I do it too. And I'm the one that came up with this weirdness. It's fine. It's fine. Just recommit to it. Be allowed to screw up. This is the point. You're not supposed to be crushing this and nailing this. If you are, you just get more sensation. That's the bonus. But we are here to tell you it's okay, friends. It's okay to not have the answers. It's okay to lean into something unexpected. There are benefits and you get to receive them if you're open to the thing. You're like getting less and less open to it because you're getting tired. That's fine. You get the feels in every posture, every posture, all three of them. Four more. Last three, two, step out second position plie. Bring your dumbbell to heart center. 90 degree Asia pace. Second position plie with your right side body to the bar. Jump in, power lace, releve your bar. Plie to the other side. Releve, plie, releve facing, plie. Releve, plie, releve, plie. Releve, pull it in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Keep going, turning. Probably figured out where we're going. Good news, friends, we're working both legs together. We're gonna this one more time. One time, we're not coming back. On your releve, come to your toes, but a nice little like hot pause and then sink down. So find explosive through your legs. Squeeze your inner thighs together as you come back up. Squeeze your objective, spread your legs out wide as you plie. For four, three, two, hold your releve. Bring your dumbbell just towards your bar, just for a little bit of reset. Hold your like parallel feet. Hold your releve, lower your heels halfway, releve, lower half, releve, lower half, releve, lower half, releve, lower half, releve. Catch your breath, active recovery. Squeeze your calves into the back of your knees. Four more. Last three, two. Turn your heels into first position, allow them to touch. Sink them all the way to your mat. Sink, releve. Sink, releve, sink, releve, sink, releve. Guess what? We've got our turnout again. Externally rotate your knees out to the sides. So open through your inner thighs, facing forward. Doesn't matter if your heels are still touching at the top. Doesn't matter. Because of this turnout, you get to work the inside of your calf. Perhaps you felt the contraction move from like the middle of your calf to the inside. With this turnout again, squeeze so tight that your quadriceps turn out and smile at you. There they are. You got it. Burn the back of your legs. This is like the part of your calf that looks really good if you're wearing like heels or just walking. Everybody benefits. 
Everybody loves some calf love, but not too much because then there's no way to walk tomorrow that doesn't suck four more. Last three, two. Bring your dumbbell to your right hand. Open your left side body towards your bar. Passe, first position arm. We're right back to the top. Passe, first position arm into arabesque fifth position arm. Pull it in and reach. Pull it in and reach. Pull it in and reach. Pull it in, reach. Again, externally rotate your knee to the side, friends. Towards the top of your mat. We have ballerina arms. First to fifth. First, fifth. Maintain the roundness through your elbow. If you cannot, drop your dumbbell. You do not need a ton of resistance here. Your shoulders, especially an over the head shoulder raise, your front delt does not need a lot of resistance. Maybe it doesn't need any. Maybe you let that sucker go. Put your dumbbell on your bar, hold it there so it's like ready, it's ready. But you just squeeze. Glide your shoulder blade down your back to bring your arm overhead. Squeeze it down. Now, how's your arabesque? Um, let's start here. Point your toe. Turn your knee out. Now squeeze your glute like there's no tomorrow. While you're at it, hug your belly up and in. Because remember, we are not hinging forward. No, this is not happening. You are here. That means your leg probably doesn't come up as high. Pull it in, reach it back. Pull it in, reach it back. Reach it back does not mean swing it up. Okay. So we protect your lower back and then continue to drive your navel to your spine to like ensure it is in fact engaged. We're adding on, friends. Sure are. Passe, arabesque, fondue. Arabesque, passe, arabesque, fondue with a tricep extension. Pull it in, reach, sink, reach, pull it in, reach, sink, reach, pull it in, reach. Sink, reach, passe, arabesque, fondue, arabesque, passe, arabesque, fondue, arabesque, passe, arabesque, fondue, arabesque, keep going. Get the movements down. I know it's a three part combo. We just shoved a fondue and an overhead tricep extension on either side of your arabesque. The passe, my friends, is simply to reset. But what's great about passe is like in theory and upon a glance, you think, oh, it's quad work in our thighs. So much more. God, it's so much more. Perhaps you're noticing. Yeah. Keep going. I know. I know you may be over it. Again, get your dumbbell. It's holding you back. At some point, the props hold you back, friends. You want to progress. You want to move forward. You need to adjust. Adjust to what keeps you in the work. Four more, last three, two, hold your fondue. Now bring your dumbbell behind you so you can really sink into it, lift your toes. Tap your toe, your dumbbell down, pull and lift. Tap, pull, lift. Tap, pull, kick back. Tap, pull, kick back. Tap, pull, kick back. We wanna finish your glutes. We wanna finish your tricep. So sink low in your fondue, pull, kick back. Tap, pull, kick back. Tap, make it fluid. Pull up, kick back. Not just your arm, your leg too. Squeeze up and reach. Squeeze up, get long. Squeeze up, get long. Lift your left toes off your mat. You don't need them. Dig through your heel so you can light up through your back side. It's your strong side. Also avoid your knee. Okay. How's your core? Hug it up and in. How's your attitude? Get your mind right. You know you can do this. You've already done it. Sink lower. It's an isometric hold in your fondue. Your standing leg is bent a whole bunch and it's freaking staying there. There's no bounce. There is no lift through your inside leg. It's all on your right side. Keep on going. Keep on going. Pull your elbow above your rib cage as you kick back. Squeeze through your tricep. If you are swinging and flailing, you are missing the point. Be here. Be in your practice. You carved out time for this. You sacrificed something for this. Especially at home, you guys. That's hard. It's hard because you already have a different environment that's super distracting. Maybe too comfortable. <laughs> Keep on up. Lift it up a little higher. Now sink through your standing leg. Four seconds. Holy smokes. Full combo in three, two. Come about halfway through your fondue, reach your dumbbell overhead, tricep extension. Fondue, sink, reach, pull it in, and reach. Sink, arabesque, 
passe, arabesque, fondue, arabesque, passe, arabesque, fondue, arabesque, passe, arabesque. The difference between these two, you guys, one, we're back in the combos, but two, your arabesque is an upright arabesque. Your leg is not going to lift that high. That's why we help with our fondue. Hinge forward so we can really get up there for height. This one's just for the burn. This one's just for the burn and a little bit of mental challenge. I know. I know. But we're getting so freaking close. Stay with me. Eight seconds. Sure you can. Last three. Two. Passe. Bring your dumbbell to heart center. Tall make to the side of a fire hydrant. Sink down. Fire hydrant. Sink. Squeeze. Squeeze it up. Lift your knee to the side. Continue to press all of your body weight into your outside foot. So you're in a fresh butt cheek, friends. Glide your booty down and back behind your knee. Sink and explode up. As you explode, squeeze. Squeeze your oblique, squeeze your hip abductor. If you have neighbors beneath you, they should feel and hear like a heavy elephant stop as you go. Yeah. We get up, get up, explode up just enough to like pull everything up and then land back down. Again, it's how you pull out of the fall. Tome is to fall, but how do you kick back up with some gumption? That's how. Strength cardio, we will not flail. Repeat after me mentally because you're breathing hard. We will not flail. This is intentional. Work through your glutes, your quad, your calf, your core. Holy buckets, friends. There's like three, four reasons to feel the way you feel right now. Also, your heart rate, your heart should be pumping through your chest. Five seconds to pick it up. Last four. Three, two, pull it back in. Passe. Bring your dumbbell in front of your hip. Again, externally rotate your knee open. Point your thigh open. Reset. Passe. Attitude with a bicep curl. Pull it in. Lift. Pull it in. Lift. Pull it in. Lift. Lift. Crunch and curl. Crunch and curl. Micro bend your standing leg for good measure. For safety, stack your shoulders over your hips. I'd rather have you crunch and lean into it than to lean back to get your leg up. Okay, that's not safe. There's no gold star for leg height. By being honest, like there's nothing about this that says or does ballerina. Okay, bar class is for everybody. There's a Big gray area note what we do in here. But know that you are almost done. We are wrapping up side two. We come down. You're almost done. So stay with me. Add the tome forward in four, three, two. Hold your attitude. Tombe with a back fly. Attitude. Passe. Attitude and curl. Tombe and fly. Attitude and curl. Passe. Attitude and curl. Tombe and fly. Curl. Reset and lift. Fall and fly. Lift. Reset. Lift. Fall and fly. Lift. Reset. Lift. Fall and fly. Lift. Reset and lift. Tombe. Attitude. Passe. Attitude. Tombe. Attitude. Passe. Attitude. Keep going. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. But it's not. You've been passeing to attituding this whole time. You just anatomy and a back fly with it. Bigger muscles, friends. You get a mini break through your legs. You get to distribute your body weight to a different, a fresher leg. Yay. Use the strength of your strong back. So strong. This beats the chest, see, well, chest in the beginning in our plank, but the tricep and shoulder workout we got in our first pass through passe. Way freaking harder. So we led with that. We front loaded with that. Because at this point in class, you're over it. You're over it. But you're not quite off the hook. Hold your next home bay. Alternate your back flies and bicep curls. So you fly it out, curl forward. Fly out, curl forward. Squeeze your shoulder blade up and in. Point your elbow down. Squeeze. Flex. Squeeze. Flex. Keep your back foot on the ground. Get heavy through your right foot, but lift your toes. Hug your belly up and in, hinge forward a lot. Feel the work in your glute and your hamstring as you hold. Four more. Full combo, four, three, two, last one. Fly, attitude and curl, passe. 
Attitude to curl. Tall man fly. Curl. Reset and lift. Fall and fly. Curl. Reset. Lift. Fall and fly. Lift. Reset. Lift. Fall and fly. We're almost there. Lift. Reset and lift. Eight seconds. Finish strong, friends. Here you go. You got this. You got this. Last three. Two. Passe step out. Second position with a sidearm hold. Plie. Attitude. Plie. Attitude. We're just transitioning. Maybe raise your heart rate a little bit. A little bit. That's a big moment. Last four. Three. Two. Second position. Plie. Bring your dumbbell to heart center. Lunge towards the top of your mat. Drop to your knees, to your seat. Keep your dumbbell. Boat pose. In located pose, balance on your sit bones. Shut your chest forward, get long through your spine. Lift your legs. Pull your dumbbell into heart center. Clam shells the bicep curl. Open it, curl. Open, close it, curl. Reach your dumbbell between your knees, squeeze it in. Open, squeeze it. Open, squeeze it. Open, squeeze it. Whoo! You've been here. This is for your inner thighs, your adductors. As you reach your dumbbell, between your knees, open them. Then close and snatch it back. Open and close. Open and close. Keep going. Press your hands into the heads of your dumbbell. So even as you're extending your arms, you're still flex through your bicep. And then you flex and curl it in. Flex it out and flex it in. Flex it out and flex it in. If your hip flexors are barking, lower your feet to the ground. You can still clamp shell from here. But then lean back so you get your core love. Isometric hold through your core. You're here for four. Drop down in three. Last two. Lower to your back, please. Leg hover with a slow crusher. Press the small of your back into your back. So tuck your tailbone under. Kick your heels out from here. Point your dumbbell to the ceiling. Now bend your elbow. This is your hub. This is your hub. Sorry, bring your arms up. I don't know what I'm doing. Lower everything to your hover. Lower to your hover. Lower. Leg hover. Lower leg hover. Tap your heels to a hover. Skull crusher and lift. Squeeze your triceps at the top. Stretch your triceps, squeeze them. Stretch them, squeeze them. Continue to squeeze to the back of your arms even as you lower. This one is fast and furious. Fast because we're running out of time. Furious because you are keeping your heels low. You get on the max. They come to a hover and they touch the ground. Hover and touch. Hover, touch. Four, three, two. Double leg raise, little pull over. Inhale, reach everything off. Exhale, everything to the ceiling. Lower and lift. Light up to your left. A little more back work. A little more back work. Flare your legs to the bottom. Squeeze them up. Flare them and squeeze them. Reach them out and squeeze. When I say reach them out, put your arms overhead and get wide right here. Get wide, then squeeze them in. Get wide, squeeze them in. We build our backs to create the illusion of a smaller waistline, so it's no coincidence we're doing it with core. Then you're strong, you've got this. One more order of business and we are out. In five, four, three, two. Stay on your back, put your dumbbell in your right hand. Abductions with a chest fly transfer. Make an X with your legs, spread them out wide. T your arms, take a big breath in. Exhale, crunch up, hover, chest flat. Put your dumbbell on your chest, put it in your left. Open and lower. Crunch and close, transfer, open and lower. Crunch and close, open and lower. Crunch and close, open, crunch and close, open, crunch and close. Squeeze through your chest. Continue to drive your navel to your spine. Close your legs, drop them, close them at a hover, drop. Close and a hover, drop. Close and a hover, drop. Close and a hover, keep going. Eight seconds and you're done. Five. Last four. Three, two. Release your dumbbell, full body stretch. Reach your fingers overhead, reach through your toes. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hug your knees towards your chest. Set up for a figure four stretch. Pull your right ankle above your left knee. Flex your toes. You have the option to stay on your back. Maybe you just isometrically press your knees away from your body. 
Wherever you're at, do that anyway. You don't see it, you feel it, friends, right here. And now maybe you reach the keyhole you've created and interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Maybe you come to your seat and bring your torso closer to the bind you've created. Either way, find a stretch of juiciness through your right side booty or hip abductor. Continue to flex your toes to protect your knee. Sway side to side gently if it feels okay, just to get into any nooks and crannies. Take a big breath in. Exhale, unwind, switch it out. Bring your left ankle above your right knee. Flex your toes the entire time. Press your knees away from your body the entire time. And now find the same general posture you found before. But more importantly, look for the same sensation on this side. So a nice juicy stretch through your left side through your hip abductor. Sway side to side. Continue to breathe. Take a big breath in. Exhale, unwind, hug your knees to your chest, reset your spine. Allow them to fall to the left for a supine twist. Stack your right hand on top of your left. Now press your right shoulder blade into your mat. So both shoulder blades are down, but now you can feel a stretch in the middle of your back. If you have any lower back sensation, release your heels and knees away from your body. Otherwise, I like to think of myself as like sitting in a chair. And I need to bend in my hips, I need to bend in my knees. Allow your ankles to maybe fall off your mat to the side. Maybe you parallel your shins to the side of your mat. Maybe you don't, you have permission. And when sometimes we want to do something, we need permission not to. We are receptive to permission to like opt out of things as if you don't already have it. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly come back to your center, hug your knees into your chest, reset your spine. Allow them to fall to the right supine twist. Same idea, friends. Again, same general posture, but look for the same sensation on the side. Again, feel a stretch in the middle of your back. If it's really juicy in your lower back, really pronounced in your lower back, release your heels, your knees away from your body. Stay and breathe. Soften or close your eyes. There's nothing left to see, nothing left to do. Take a big breath in. Exhale slowly back through center. Give yourself one final squeeze. Hug your knees towards your nose. Bring your nose to meet your knees. And then release to your Shavasana. I will pull you out in just a moment. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale your arms overhead, full body stretch. Exhale, please roll to your right side, supported fetal position. Rest your head on your bicep, curl your knees towards your chest. Take this moment to acknowledge all the hard work you put in, to know that it was not easy, it was not expected by any means. But when you lean into the challenge, you receive. When you give yourself permission, when you take the challenge, when you lean into the unknown, you receive the benefits of the lesson learned. Now, perhaps you think of a conversation that's been in your head and in your heart for a long time, a story. Could you be open to the other side of that story? 
that is perhaps very different from your version. If you can open yourself up to this other story, perhaps you can receive some healing, some peace. So as yogis, we tend to talk about our journeys and where we're going and where we want to be uncomfortable and get outside of our comfort zones and our bubbles and all these things, right? There's a version of this you've entertained. So I challenge you to not just be open to the unknown, to the unexpected, to the challenging, but to lean into it because this is where you receive growth, where you begin to tap into the vast amount of potential that you actually have. Can you lean into it? Can you be receptive to it? Not just in words, but in actions. And it is uncomfortable and that's why it's called growth. That's what it feels like. But know friends that you are worth it and it is the difference between living your life and simply breathing through it. When you're ready, press up to a comfortable seated position and inhale your arms overhead, please. Exhale your hands in through heart center. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy. You are enough. And your presence is needed here. We seal our practice, honor each other with namaste. So good, you guys. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. We'll see you soon.